Hey everybody, welcome back to The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus. We're gonna do a regular hard Eden run. Because literally... <laughs> the hell is this? <laughs> uh, did we have Eden Swessing on our last one? I guess I may have on an off camera, or maybe we recorded it and I had an Eden Swessing. I don't remember, man. Uh, well, we have Anti-Grav. If you want the seed, you probably won't have Anti-Grav. You'll probably have Trail of Tears. Also, is this butter bean or wait what? If it's wait what, I'd be pretty okay. If it's butter bean, I'm going to be a little bit PO'd at life. Pop in here real quick. We get the cone head. Here's the seed. O-N-C-S, one N O S zero S O S something something. Store credit's good. It is not wait what. It is actually just butter bean. Oh, boy. Uh, it's going to be one of those runs, I think. Although this run isn't horrible. I mean, anti-grav is not my fave, but it is still okay. We will take Mr. Boom over uh, Butterbean. I think that that's a fairly obvious one. But why are we playing as Eden? Uh, we basically have everything done that we need to, except for the dailies. And I have already done the daily for the day. Day, day, day. Daily, day, day. So, uh, I can't record the daily because it's not available for me to record. So instead, uh, we're just playing Isaac. W what a time to be alive. I never thought the day would come where we could actually go back to uh, playing as our favorite character in the game. We have a lot of money. This shop is very valuable. Uh, Terra Cloth is good. So let's take it. Uh, we get in return High Priestess, which is okay. Let's throw down a Mr. Boom. Diplopia could be very good. Especially when we uh, don't really have... A spacebar item that we super want to hold on to, to be honest with you. Let's pop the moon. 99 bombs. I mean, I'd be lying if I said I didn't want them. One bomb gives us 99 bombs. It's a pretty decent trade in literally any situation ever, unless you're, you know, promoting world peace. So as soon as we get a charge on Mr. Boom, uh, we will go back and crank into that. And then, then we should be able to bomb some of those uh, shopkeepers in there. Get a little bit of money back, uh, and then that will allow us to buy the crap in the uh, shop, Diplopia. So beautiful. Chuck down a bomb here. Chuck down a bomb here. Chuck down a bomb here. There we go. That's what we wanted. Spiders aren't going to harm me. Let's just head on out. I have not used uh, Anti-Grav in, I mean, probably months, if I'm being honest with you. So I'm kind of excited to play with it again, even though I, you know, as a whole, genuinely have a strong distaste for this item. I think that it might be fun to uh, try it out again for once. You know, I'm a strong believer. You should be trying something new, you know, almost every day of your life. You know, say you have a favorite restaurant and you always order the, uh, you know, cheeseburger with fries, but there's, you know, that tuna tartare on the menu and you're like, man, Tuna's pretty disgusting. Why would I ever get tuna? You know what? Maybe you should try that tuna. Maybe you'll find that you really enjoy tuna. Now, me as a whole, I really don't like tuna. I think tuna's fairly disgusting. Uh, I know that it's best served raw, and I'm not a big fan of raw fish. You know, I'll eat it, I suppose, but I'm not really the world's biggest fan. I love sushi. You know, give me any form of uh, sushi that isn't raw, sign me up. I just went to a place the other day that had a sushi roll called the Baconator. You know, you want to give me some bacon inside of sushi? That's basically, like, my greatest gift from heaven. Sign me up. But, uh, you want to give me, like, you know, here's a giant raw tuna just chilling on a plate. You know, chow down on that. I'm going to be like, eh. You know, I'd rather go for the cheeseburger in this case. But what I'm saying is, don't use my uh, sushi tactics as a form of lifestyle here i want you to uh go out on a limb choose that tuna tartare you know if your parents say hey we're making brussels sprouts tonight and you go ew they're too green you know what well, maybe you should try those brussels sprouts brussels sprouts are good for you and they're good in general part this is still the basement one really <laughs> i could have sworn that this was uh basement two and i was like uh pardon me where's my deal with the devil so we spent a lot of time on that first floor holy hell 
that's okay. Uh, we don't need to go to boss rush, uh, or hush on this one. For once in our lives, we can actually make a decision that is intelligent, uh, and beneficial towards the run instead of forcing ourselves to go places that sometimes the run just can't support on a financial or intellectual level. This run's already going in places that an intellectual level can't carry, uh, since we are evolving into Tuna Tartar territories. Say that 20 times fast. Uh, but anyway. You think our secret room's right here? I, I bet the secret room is still right there. And I just don't know how to place bombs. Alright, now it's just totally not there. What are we using Diplopia for? Honestly, wherever the first situation where I feel like Diplopia is appropriate, uh, is the place where we're going to use Diplopia. If it's a deal with the devil that has, you know, four items that wild deal with the devil you can occasionally get, there's a decent chance I'm popping it there. Uh, if we get, you know, double shot or quad shot or something from our item room, you can already guarantee that I'm popping it there. You know, I would love to have Octo Shot on this run. Honestly, sign me up for Octo Shot. It also sounds like a uh, action movie about an octopus that learns how to hold a gun. In theaters now, Octo Shot. Can you withstand the Octo? And that's just like the octopus from Octo Dad holding a M47. Alright, come in here. We got our item room. Item room's important, still. I mean, we're not exactly in a situation where this run is, uh, James Bond golden right now. Blue Baby's only friend is good. But I need to not fall into the trap where Tyler only uses Blue Baby's only friend because he likes it as an item and he hates anti-grav. We will continue to, uh, pop tears out instead all right we knew that one of these was gonna have enemies come into our shop i really don't think that we want any of these i do want the money but we'll save the money for now uh and attempt to utilize it later a spirit heart would be splendid and thank the lord that we got one use blue baby's only friend a little bit to i mean just use it completely I'll probably be using Blue Baby's only friend for the majority of the beginning of this run. I mean, it's just a really good item. How could anybody hate this guy? It's cute, too. Look at how cute it is. I'm not talking about Little Horn, even though he's adorable as well. All right, two keys. Come in here. We get the Void. I mean, as much as I would love to have the Void, part of me really wants to try to rock this Diplopia. I mean, pop this guy. We really only did that so we could have the precedent. But let's head down. People are going to be pretty mad I didn't take the Void, right? It just seems like I've been using the Void a lot lately. Try something different, man. <laughs> That's the moral of this episode is... Whenever you feel down and you feel pushed around... Try something new. Friends till the end. That's You're going to have friends till the end if you try something new. Now, as a pill, not exactly killing it, but, uh... Nah, I shouldn't say that. Friends Till the End is an okay pill. It's gonna do good things for us. I mean, it's already done good things for us. But it, it might do good things in the future. Wait, where is this guy? Hello. Good night. You're dead. Pop into the shop. It's not a shop, it's a library. It does give us a, uh... Head up on the bookworm transformation, which is, you know, in my opinion, probably like the third or fourth best transformation in the game. So I'm accepting that. Lazrags. Unique, I would say. Uh, do we want to come back as Lazarus? I don't know. You know, we would get a slight damage upgrade and also anemic from doing so. I suppose if we get a deal with the devil uh, that benefits from killing ourselves, you know, say that we get two two heart items so the first one we take uh will bring us to two spirit hearts and then the second one we take brings us to zero spirit hearts then sure sign me up you know give me laz rags and we will uh kill ourselves and have a good time this fight went extraordinarily well no deal with the devil that's fine for right now uh, we don't we don't need the deal yet we can have it on the next floor and we'll still have uh Muchos beneficios. That's not our secret room. 
Is this, that can't be our secret room. Is our secret room right here? It can't be our secret room. Where the hell's our secret room? These are the world's most important questions right now. Um, okay. So we're going to find the shop, which is honestly in a very odd location. If we're thinking about normal floor layout situations. We will pop in here. A red chest does intrigue me. I wouldn't necessarily mind having a guppy item on this run. I also wouldn't mind moving slightly quicker on this run. I think you do take hive mind. Uh, just to attempt to, you know, leave a hint to the game saying, hey, if you'd like to give me that guppy, go ahead, fam. Go ahead, pop it out, make Tyler happy. This is our secret room then? I suppose so. Uh, and skeleton key. So we now have 99 bombs, 99 keys. That doesn't happen often, <laughs> if I'm being honest with you. Uh... And I, and I find it fairly hilarious. Two of spades is like as useless as anything can be right now. So I suppose you just head down. We'll pop Ansus on the next floor. Uh, unless it's Curse of the Blind and we can't see the map. Which we don't have so we can see the map. And then we will uh, fight here. Do we want Shoop to whoop if this guy drops it? The answer to that is no. Uh, unless we find a place to use Diplopia on this floor. Which honestly like... There are a lot of cases where you could use Diplopia. Even just the shop uh, is a prime Diplopia use kind of place because we can get so much benefit from the shop for basically, you know, 15 cents from the Diplopia play earlier. But we'll see what happens. Uh, I want to go to the item room as well. Once again, double shot, triple shot. Even the Wiz, uh, that would be a fun time, I think. I mean, by fun, I mean it would be horrible, but it would be fun in terms of a weird run. To do double shot whiz. Double my whiz, bro. Definitely sounds like something that you know, two gnarly dudes at the skate park would say. Hey, bro, you want to come over to my place and we'll double our whiz? That actually sounds disturbing when you think about it. I'll let you think about it for a second. If you're watching this, please don't invite your friend over to double your whiz. There's a good chance that they're probably not going to talk to you after that. Unless they're, you know, weird like you. And if you're watching me play Isaac right now, there's a decent chance you're weird, man. I'm not saying too, too much about your uh, personality. Maybe you're a kind person. Maybe you're not. Uh, maybe you're a complete asshole. I don't know. I, you're probably not, though. I've talked to a decent amount of you guys in the comments. You're usually not, like, huge a-holes. Some of you are. I, I And trust me, you know who you are. But, uh, usually... Y'all are pretty sweet, nice people. Now, I do realize we're in a situation where we're not going to get this deal with the devil if I don't get my act together. So how about I get my act together? Bad trip. I mean, that was basically, like, the biggest FU the game could give me. I'm not a huge fan of that. Uh, it does ruin our deal with the devil chance. It also ruins my chance at success in life. It actually really doesn't. My success is not really, uh, bounded by what I do in the Binding of Isaac. It's actually bounded on whether or not uh, I can make money, create a future for myself, find a job, get kids. I, getting kids doesn't really determine your future, does it? Sack of Sacks is good. Power pill, that's fine. Still waiting for the Diplopia play of the century. And God damn it, I will make it happen. I would love to save it for Boss Rush, uh, but I'm in the situation right now we, we're not going to make it to Boss Rush. I'm going to have to get something, like, super good uh, in order to start moving at a pace in which Boss Rush is even an option. Because right now, Boss Rush ain't an option. We're moving very slow. And that's my own damn fault. I mean, we spent, like, nine years on the first floor. Which we really did not need to do. Although we did get sizable benefit from it. So I'm, I'm not going to say yes or no to the fact that, that was a waste of my time or not but let's uh let's be honest here boss rush diplopia is the dream as it is very good so we will attempt to utilize it we're going to be getting sex which means we could get emperor cards which means that we could get teleportations to the end of floors which means that we could make it to boss rush but i'm gonna 
I'm not going to put your hopes up too, too high here. 18% chance at a deal with the devil. I mean, I was about to say what are the odds, but the correct answer to that would be 18%. It'd be dope if we get one, though. You know, Isaac, I'd be very happy with you. We didn't. Instead, we get uh, another HP upgrade, which starts to make our uh, <laughs> plans with uh, Lazrags appear to be fallen by the wayside, and we lose the old double chance again. Oh, boy. Uh, we are, like, slowly approaching that territory where the run is not going to be good enough because we're missing out on these deals with the devil. You know, it's already, like, it's a subpar run. This might be time to do something drastic uh, and kill ourselves. <laughs> that came out a little weird. Uh, it might be time to do something drastic and turn into Lazarus. It's going to give us a tiny, tiny damage up. It's going to give us some other stats up. Is that the right move? I would love it if we could find like an arcade or something to just kill ourselves in there, get benefit back from it. But we're in a situation where uh, we, we need something quick. And I was about to say like, if we find the boss, we're just going to skip the item room and head down. But that's the stupidest thing that I could ever do. You know, boss rush ain't important right now. There's a chance we ain't surviving boss rush if we go and fight it. Come into our secret room. Throw down a bomb. Chuck down a uh, bomb on this guy. 46% chance is okay. And here's the boss. I have a feeling it's going to be a Mr. Fred. No, Mr. Fred's not on this floor. Who the hell's in a double room? Turdlings. I mean, this is not a bad fight. 46% chance. I have a feeling we're not going to get it. And I don't deserve it either. So I'm, I'm not going to be mad at the game if they don't give me one. Because goddamn, I don't deserve it. We've played pretty poor on this one. And part of that's anti-grav. Uh, but the majority of that is just my own horribleness. Uh, and, and I respect that. Okay, these guys are almost dead. Turdling? Yo, turdling. Come into my trap. Okay, beautiful. You are dead. You got one more poop somewhere. Where's your poop? He's right there. Good night. We did not get to deal with the devil, so that's good. I mean, it's not good, but it's it's acceptable. And then let's go back and uh, go to our shop and item room. I understand we could uh, hightail it right now. Make it the boss rush. That's not the smart play. Don't be stupid. Play it smart. Get Cricket's head from this. No, but okay. Shop could be very good. There's a lot of very good items in shops in the Binding of Isaac. I would love to have one right now. I really did not want to buy a portable slot. So thanks for your uh, hard work, but no thanks. Crack into this. I appreciate the two luck upgrades that we'll get from here. I mean, that that's very good. I would also appreciate some extra money. No? Just head out. Uh, it's a little bit disappointing. We're going to hold on to Perthro. I'm waiting for the right time to pop it. Uh, and frankly, the right time that I want is Boss Rush. Uh, but we've already had this spiel 42 times on this run. Uh, boss Rush might not even be occurring. So we should probably uh, also use it just on a deal with the devil or something. Zodiac. I mean, it's just okay. We get a slight damage up. I'm not positive what Zodiac gives a slight damage up. Um, I have no idea why we have a damage up. But sure, we might still make it to Boss Rush. It would be beautiful if we did. Is that a double key room? I will absolutely reroll this run. Restarts the floor. I mean, that is the exact opposite of what we need right now. We're trying to make it to the end of this floor, not restart this floor. We're trying to make this boss rush dream a reality, and you're just making fun of us by giving us a uh, floor restart. Oh, that's not what we want now, is it? Okay. We should check that sack, because if it gives us a teleport card, which it didn't, uh, then that's like our primary boss rush capability here. And obviously, like, 
there's a chance that we might just want to do boss rush if it gives good enough items. But we need to be uh, ever so cautious here. Judas's shadow is so good. So take that. We could just kill ourselves in boss rush. Uh, I didn't even think of that opportunity. But it might be a good idea. I don't even really care that we got hit. I'm trying to move fast here. This got to be the way to the boss. You got to be kidding me. It ain't. All right. It's going to be a close one. Uh, I mean, if we're looking at this logically, there's no way in hell we're making it to boss rush. I will lose the spirit heart. I accept it. We're trying to hightail it down. I feel like we can beat mom like pretty quickly. I have no idea which direction. Boss rush is definitely not going to happen. Now, there is a way we can still get in. And that's if Mama Mega is in the shop. So, prioritize finding the shop. Unless we find the boss, like, very, very shortly. Also, attempt to keep the deal with the Devil Chance alive. Because that has value as well. Oh, Lord. Okay. That was fun. Good. I really enjoyed that a lot. Here's our shop. I think that at this point, there's no way in hell we're making it to boss rush. So pray for Mama Mega. Honestly, pray for a reroll room. Instead, we get BFF, which is still, like, very good. So we will inquire to uh, snag it here. Especially with Blue Baby's only friend, it's going to be doing a lot of damage. Little sucky we couldn't make boss rush happen here. But what are you going to do, I guess? We spent a lot of time on the first floor that screwed us. We can still... Obviously make a lot of good things happen. We got Juice of Shadow, man. I mean, uh, all we need to really do is get ourselves killed. And uh, we'll be able to utilize a good bit. There's really nothing else to do on this floor either. Now, if we bring stars in, we can redo this floor. And then maybe get Mama Mega. Oh, Lord. That sounds like a really stupidly great idea. Okay. Okay. The boss rush dream ain't dead. God damn it. it. It is alive. I'm awake and I'm alive. Waking up, waking up. Okay. Just beat mom. Get this deal. The deal's gonna feel good inside. Don't you damn even worry about that. We do get our deal. Polaroid, come in. It's a Krampus fight. Why did you have to Krampo? Of all, of all people... You had the Krampo. Just kill him. Lump of coal. Lump of coal is fine. And then Chariot is not fine. We're going to stars out. And then everybody get amped. We're going to go restart this floor. You're probably like Tyler. Uh, are you crazy? No, I ain't. And you know what? Uh, we're going to play this guy as well. Because why not? Honestly. We're now down to half a heart. Kill yourself on it. Uh, why were we able to just slam our body into this? That was a little weird, wasn't it? Okay, well, we have uh, we have a lot of money now. We are Lazarus now. And we're going to restart the floor now. Okay. So, <laughs> you're probably like, Tyler, explain yourself a little bit. What's going on, man? Here's the deal. We are going to play the crap. Wow. Uh, wickety wickety wow. <laughs> uh, here's the deal. If we can get Mama Mega from a shop on this floor, that now means that we can get in the boss rush and then utilize Diplopia. And then if we get a deal with the devil on this floor, which is, you know, granted a very low chance, uh, we can kill ourselves with Judas' shadow and then get the huge damage up. And now this run's looking pretty. Is this the greatest idea I've ever had? It might be. If it works the way I want it to. I mean, Tammy's head is pretty good. But it's not really uh, better than Depopia right now. Depopia. So we'll just go through here. We're looking for... I mean, a chariot card is probably more beneficial. I'm just going to pop in now. You know what? Screw these guys. I don't need them in my life. Look at how easy that room was. We do have tarot cloth. Which means that we are going to be uh, slamming through these rooms whenever we get a 
card. Yeah, it's gonna double the effect. Please be the secret room. You're not. Well, the deal with the devil chance is now very low. Uh, and if we die, we die. Uh, I'm not overly concerned about it because we're gonna come back ten times more powerful than we were before. And by ten times, I'd like seriously just mean two. But you get the gist of that situation here. We will take Locust of Death, since this is a good trinket. This invincibility will last a while again, which is good to know. The damage stat is not incredible. Uh, we're still looking to raise it, but obviously Judas' Shadow is going to do that. And obviously, uh, if we ever find a Diplopia play that is actually good, then that will help as well. Okay, let me into my item room. Come in here. Uh, Mr. Mega's just okay. The fact we got 99 bombs makes it better. But it's not something I can get, you know, super hyped over right now. I swear to God, if, if Mama Mega's in this shop, uh, I'm the biggest genius in the world. Give it to me. Champion belt. It's still very good. I think you uh, call it a day here. And then head on to your boss. 11% chance at a deal with the devil. I mean, we're not going to get it. I'm just letting you know right now. If you you have your hopes up, you know, God bless you for believing. But uh, it's not going to happen. We're not going to get a deal. Tyler's going to be relatively sad. But in the end, it's going to be okay. And we are literally just going to uh, destroy mom like this. No deal. Take the Polaroid again, because why not? And then head down. So, where are we using the Polopia? <laughs> Look, man, uh, this is a great question. At this point, we could be saving it for the chest. <laughs> is that, you know, probably the weirdest Diplopia thing that I could do after getting it on the first freaking floor of the game? You probably. But it's also like, you know, that's not a bad place to use Diplopia. It's a relatively awesome place to use Diplopia because we could get a ton of good stuff. You know, it's essentially a boss rush, except uh, you can take four or you can take two of every item and you don't have to fight a bunch of mobs after it why did i say mobs also i would love to get a deal on this floor so we can kill ourselves i don't know when we should kill ourselves because we should do it you know there's no question i would love a joker card two of diamonds is not good enough we also will not be doing hush uh simply because one i don't think we're gonna make it there on time and two, this run ain't good enough. You know, this run is subpar at best. We're being carried hardcore by a BFF, Blue Baby's only friend. You know, there's people that are probably like, thank God that I tuned in for this 40-minute uh, Isaac run to watch Tyler use Blue Baby's only friend to deal all of his damage. But look, man, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. If we're ever gonna try to get on a streak again, sometimes you gotta do the dirty work in a run to get the win. And if that dirty work means uh, using only Blue Baby's only friend for all of our damage, that's dirty work I'm willing to do. Then again, I also just like this item, so I'm going to utilize it to its utmost ability usually anyway, but that's beside the point. Crack into this. Not good enough. Uh, we left a Perthrow rune behind somewhere. Is it in that room there, down there? It probably is. There's also a rock here, which we will then crack into, get bombs back. I mean, pop two of diamonds. Hangman isn't valuable. We will go back because a Perthrow rune is, like, infinitely better than a hangman. We may have left the Perthrow rune on a different floor. Yeah, it's starting to appear like that is the case, huh? Well, that's my bad. My, my sincerest apologies. I probably shouldn't be apologizing to you. I should be apologizing to myself. That's a lost opportunity. You know, we're going to get a deal with the devil. It's going to have four crappy items in it that we could have re-rolled into four awesome items. But now I've lost that opportunity. That's my own damn fault. All right, let's let's fight Labasso. 33% chance. It's not amazing, but it is possible. One third... Now, I've rolled a one-third before in runs. I've rolled a one percent in runs. We got a chance. We, we died. That's okay. We now have an eight percent chance. That's a little bit different, if I'm being honest with you. But we're also 
Uh, not exactly looking to get an incredible boss rush now. Or uh, I'm, I, dude, I'm rattled. This game just rattled the crap out of me. Cat and Nine Tails is good. Head down to the next floor. Okay, we're on two hearts. Yet I'm really still not worried. I would love to reroll the run. Fate's reward. It's okay. I'm not exactly going to get super hyped over that. It's just okay. Oh, now this run's really sketchy, isn't it? I, like, evolved into a weird Irish accent there. Aye, this run is really special, ain't it? Okay. One heart. Do not miss your chance to blow. This, this is sketch. Very sketch. Oh, we, we lost. <laughs> oh, God. Dude, my Isaac skills have just fallen by the wayside. I have no idea what I've done to deserve this. But it's like somebody just ripped them away from me. I'm so bad at this game right now. If you enjoyed, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. I'm sorry. Bye.